In today's video, we have the Axial SCX6 on the workbench, and we're going to be putting a whole new set of shock towers, front and rear, on this vehicle, all to help with durability and overall strength of the truck. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Troy. This is Roadside RC. What you'll tend to find is crawling and drifting and bashing and racing, plus product review videos and how-tos. And today, that's exactly what we have. We are using these beautifully machined red aluminum shock towers from TopCAD and we are going to be replacing the stock plastic shock towers front and rear on this vehicle with these. You'll see this is actually like part four of our video series all installing aluminum durability parts on this truck so you'll see a playlist down below and at the end of the video where you can see all of these different improvements and upgrades that we've done to the truck. Looking at this new piece here, we get a pretty good idea of what it is that we need to take off in order to swap out the shock towers. So this rear brace front screw here for the fender. When we come in here, you're looking at the shock of itself, of course, plus both bottom screws here that help hold it to the chassis. We're going to get all those out. So what is that? About five screws total. And then this should be able to swap right back into its place. One thing I always like to do is compare both new and old once you get them off, just to make sure all the dimensions look the same, make sure everything's looking good that way. Um, no issues with dimensions, no issues with part placement or anything. You can see one thing that TopCAD does here compared to the stock, so you have five mounting options here with the stock setup. Here you have, what is that, six plus four, you got 10 mounting options, probably a little overkill, but I am definitely gonna take advantage of this rearmost hole in order to lay those shocks back a little bit and help the total truck lower a small amount, plus get a little bit extra flex with it. So that's kind of nice. So I'm gonna be able to get that. If you wanna go back into your stock hole, it looks like basically it's gonna be probably this upper center hole is the one that you'd go with. So the only thing different on the driver's side is that you actually have your pan hard mount bracket. Now from the factory, it is of course plastic and it uses a nut, a uh, captured nut that goes in on this back side here and you screw into it. With this TopCAD part, it is just a straight threaded into the aluminum. So again, making sure that when you're doing these screws that thread into the aluminum that you're using Loctite, that means you do not need to reuse this nut. You can, if you want to, probably, I'm assuming that the screw's gonna go through enough and you'll be able to put the nut back on the outside and kinda double lock it if you want, it's up to you. There we go, front is now done. Looking really good in there, I actually really like it. I love the pop of red on the inside here with the inner fenders, with that servo horn with this Zeuske 60kg servo. So really, it's kinda transforming the looks of this truck. I kinda like it. I didn't know if I'd like the red or not, but I really do kinda like it in there. I got those shocks moved back. Again, Loctite used in all the places that Loctite's needed. I'm gonna get the front wheels on and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna start doing the same thing for those rear shock towers. On the rear of the truck, it looks like we're gonna have basically the same story as the front. So two screws down here at the bottom, the one uh, shock mounting screw up there, but then instead of screws up here holding the fender and this cross brace on, it looks like we have one, two up here. So we're gonna end up with, again, five total screws, one, two, three, four, and then the shock is five. Just like the front shock towers here, we have a good comparison of new versus old. Again, the new, I love the machining, I love the red, and then I love the machining anodized around there. That looks, it just looks so good good like they've really done a good job assembling these parts again looking at the dimensions looking how it fits it looks really nice they have still given us all those bonus mounting holes again we're going to go into that upper and most front mount hole looks like it's actually going to roughly match where they were from the factory already look at that looking good in there again nice shiny pop of color same thing here on the inside so as you're putting your batteries in and all that you'll be able to actually see that red shining through on those shock towers perfect fit no issues putting them in whatsoever you have both the front and the rear shock towers installed in this truck i like that little bling i like that little color pop of red underneath there that's actually pretty fun 
As a reminder, this is part four of a video series that we did upgrading all of these parts on this Axial SCX6. If you want to see the other videos that we did and the other parts that we installed, just come over here and click that SCX6 playlist and you'll be able to see all of them. So thank you for all your support. We really appreciate it. It means the world to us. We will see you in that next video. Thank you and goodbye.